1120U, Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. The name of this video clip is Operating System or OS Interfaces. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, what does the user need to know in order to operate technological objects? Number two, what are the isolationist, the participationist, and the networked responses to internet availability? Number three, describe the collective intelligence and connectivist theories. Number four, what is the traditional response to the need for technical skill development? The HCHI model, Desjardins 2001-2005, is being used in this course as it outlines the major technological competencies that will be explored throughout the course. This video clip will focus on the technical order, or the interactions of the user with the computer. Open quote. In order to operate technological objects, parentheses of computer, associated peripherals, and the basic operating system, close parentheses, the subject must have knowledge of the language, the vocabulary, and the different icons used, as well as some of the general commands. The subject must also have some basic skills to operate the keyboard, mouse, and other peripherals. An array of procedural knowledge must be developed generally through experience with the technology and applied as usable methods to interact effectively and efficiently with the technological object itself. This language and these commands and skills constitute the knowledge that the subject will select from using specific criteria derived from the analysis of the situation to plan and use the technological object and are referred to as competencies of the technical order. It should be noted that although these competencies are defined separately in this model, they are essential in any use of the technology, regardless of the intent. Uh, close quote, and that's a quote from Desjardins 2005. Teachers have less and less time for training, and the pressure to use ICT in the classroom in more effective ways increases. Generally, when we first come in contact with computers or other devices, we know that whatever functions we would like to use can be performed because of the publicity surrounding these tools. However, we may not know how to go about operating the hardware and software in order to accomplish these specific functions. Some people, very few probably, will intuitively and methodically uh, read the instruction manual. Others just want to be able to surf the web or use a scanner to scan paper documents, but this often gives way to simply wanting to turn on the scanning indicator on the scanner or to find an icon in your browser. Repeated error message, messages increase user frustration and the user resigns themselves sooner or later to reading the instructions again and then trying again, looking, observing, and sometimes finally asking for help. If the frustration does not lead to the abandonment of all efforts, the procedures that resulted in success will be stored and reused with satisfaction, assuming that they are not forgotten before they are needed again. If we consider the practical use of computers results from the development of knowledge and understanding the basic concepts governing its operation, we need to reflect on our knowledge and our current practices. Currently in Canada, it is difficult to live without having to use a variety of technologies at one time or another on a daily basis, whether using the bank's ATM machines or on the main street seeing people walking while talking on a cell phone, digital technology affects us all. Recent statistics reveal not only that a high proportion of Canadian households are equipped with one, at least one computer, but they are also connected to the internet. The uses that people make of these technologies range from simple use of email, researching of information on the web, and some even do all of their banking on online systems. Canada is faced with the democratization of access to high technology. In reading the report, How Canadians Use uh, use of internet affects social life and civic participation, you can see some aspects of the use that people make of these technologies at home and at school. In their report, theor three theoretical responses to internet usage are discussed. The isolationist, the participationist, and the networked. And that's taken from Wienhoff, Wellman, Kell, and Hogan, 2008. And the link is shown on the slide. Pierre Levy's vision of a collective intelligence or knowledge is interesting as it seems to be directly related to ideas growing out of collaborative ventures such as political parties or public wikis. 
Jorn Seaman's connectivist ideas transform learning from something that is associated with an individual building knowledge within their heads to something closer to a web of linked nodes. Learning then, according to Siemens, becomes a process of creating connections and establishing a connect network of these connections. A variety of means have been and are being used to develop technical competency, including formal training systems more akin to Jonason's learning about computers category and informal systems. Many different formats have been used, but frequently the result of all effort is frustration or abandonment. One additional response that I've heard frequently over the years, I'll use that system once I've been trained. The problem with this is that training sessions are hard to find, expensive, usually boring, and ultimately useless when the next version of the software arrives, or more likely an attractive alternative shows up the day following the training. This inevitably puts education in the back seat as learners will never work with the latest systems. And according to Prensky, as we saw earlier on in this course, learners will see education as increasingly irrelevant. I could say something about PBL here, but most of you will have already anticipated where this is going. So... Operating systems continue to evolve and incorporate features from multiple platforms. Check out the YouTube clips on the following URLs. There is a selection from Windows 8 through to Apple OS X Mountain Lion and uh, a variation on a Linux desktop interface. Check out these new interfaces and hardware combinations. So the first one is about five um, top internet boxes for your television. Uh, the next one is about a natural user interface. And the last one is so-called tactile user interface. And there's a couple of variations on that one. For the theoretical perspectives, please pay attention to Desjardins 2005 and Desjardins Lacasse Bel Air 2001. We've seen those uh, before. And also view the technical order model module from the Learning with ICT uh, BED course. And I'm giving you the link on this slide. The synthesis questions for this particular um, video clip are as follows. Why are technical competencies fundamental when dealing with digital teaching and learning technologies? Number two, which of the Canadian responses to the internet, i.e. isolationist, participationist, or networked is most appropriate and why? And number three, why does learning with computers usually lead to frustration and or abandonment? And number four, which of the affordances in the OS or hardware appliances should have the most applicability to adult learners and why. That brings us to the end of this video clip.